We have a traffic alert for you from Fayette County today at 185 years old. The first cast iron bridge built in the United States is about to get a much needed facelift. Our Shelley Bortz is in Brownsville with how businesses and residents will weather this year long detour. PennDOT says they will be taking the bridge apart piece by piece, then transporting it out of state for repairs, a nearly $9 million undertaking. In the meantime, businesses along Market Street here tell me it will be a huge adjustment. This orange sign greets drivers as they approach the Dunlap Creek Bridge on Market Street in Brownsville and will do so for the next year or so. It's going to be a bit of a headache for a while. I mean, and it's a fairly long project, but I think the end result will be worth the time that they have the, the road closed. George Hoke works at Brownsville Family Pharmacy, which is located just a few steps away from the bridge on Market Street, just a few hours into the year long project. And he says he's already seen dozens of drivers forced to turn around because they were unaware of the closure. The people that uh, live in town really are very seem very comfortable. It's the people that come into town that are not familiar with the area that are seeming to have the problem. The existing bridge is listed on the National Register of Historical Places and was constructed by the United States Army Corps in 1839 as the first cast iron bridge in the country. In a statement to KDKA TV, PennDOT says in part, the $9 million infrastructure preservation project is designed to sensitively rehab the historic bridge structure, restoring views of the original bridge. It will ensure continued structural integrity, stability, and soundness. While that work is being done, traffic will follow the posted detour to Route 40 over the Lane Bain Bridge and through West Brownsville before returning on the Brownsville Bridge back into the other side of town. Surprisingly, the businesses along Market Street aren't concerned with losing the constant flow of traffic. As a lifetime resident of the borough, Hope says he's excited to see improvements to his town. It, it's had its hardships, but anything that they can make it to seem a little better, that's all right by me. Now the work started here, PennDOT says it will take about a year to finish. Reporting in Brownsville, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.